Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics of my channel. In this video, we are going to solve uh, this interesting integral, integral from 0 to infinity, sine of x over square root of x dx. Okay, uh, in this video, I am going to solve this integral by using uh, two, two or three methods. So, first method, uh, I am going to use the uh, mass identity. In a previous video, uh, we discussed about the mass identity. So uh, you can search and uh, watch. Uh, if, if not, I'm going to. Uh, okay, I will add the link in the description. So we know uh, first. If we have this type of uh, integral, uh, product of two functions and limit zero to infinity, uh, we can take uh, Laplace transform of uh, first function sine of x. Uh, then uh, times inverse Laplace transform of second function. So here we have 1 over square root of x and here dx. Now uh, integral from 0 to infinity, we know Laplace transform of sine of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x square, uh, 1 plus x square. So we can change the variable. So I'm going to write 1 over 1 plus x square. And inverse Laplace transform of 1 over square root of x, we know 1 over square root of pi times square root of x dx well uh, then 1 over square root of pi we know constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and then here we have 0 to infinity dx over square root of x times 1 plus x square then uh, we can take a substitution the square root of x is equal to uh, t then we know x is equal to t square then if we differentiate dx is equal to 2 times t dt then uh, we can plug in so we have uh, here 1 over uh, square root of pi uh, integral uh, limit we know also 0 to infinity and dx is equal to 2 times t dt over square root of x we know t 1 plus uh, x square x square we know t to the uh, fourth power then uh, we know uh, here 2 2 is a constant so 2 over square root of pi integral from 0 to infinity we know this t get cancelled so we have dt over 1 plus t to the fourth power now how to evaluate this integral well uh, we solve this integral integral from 0 to infinity x to the a minus 1 over 1 plus x to the n uh, dx is equal to pi over n times sine of pi m over n if you like to watch this video i will add the uh, link in the description so uh, you can search well now uh, when comparing uh, this integral and our this integral we know here m is equal to uh, 1 and n is equal to 4 so we can write our integral is equal to 2 over 2 over square root of pi times uh, now uh, here uh, we have m is equal 1 and here pi so pi over n we know 4 so uh, 4 times sine of uh, pi m over n so sine of 5 over 4 we know 1 over square root of 2 so 1 here square root of 2 so if we simplify uh, we know this 2 get cancelled pi get cancelled so we have the square root of pi over 2 okay this is the answer for this integral well uh, let's move to the uh, second method our integral uh, integral from 0 to infinity sine of x over the square root of x dx well, uh, in this method, uh, I'm going to define a, uh, define an integral, integral from 0 to infinity, e to the minus xy times y to the minus 1 half dy. If we integrate this, uh, we have the square root of pi over the square root of x. Therefore, uh, we can write here integral from 0 to infinity sine of x and then here we have 1 over the square root of x. So, instead of uh, here also we have 1 over square root of x. Instead of 1 over square root of x, uh, we can plug in uh, this integral, integral from 0 to infinity 1 over the square root of pi e to the minus xy y to the minus 1 half dy dx 
well then uh, we know 1 over square root of pi is a constant then integral from 0 to infinity y to the minus 1 half integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus xy times sine of x dx dy well uh, then 1 over square root of pi integral from 0 to infinity here we have y to the minus 1 half i think uh, you can integrate uh, this integral uh, by using integration by parts we will have the answer 1 over 1 plus y square d y okay now uh, how to evaluate this integral well uh, here 1 over square root of pi integral from 0 to infinity now here uh, y to the 1 half minus 1 is equal to sorry uh, over 1 plus y square dy okay then uh, this is uh, this integral also uh, same as uh, this integral so uh, we know instead of m now we have 1 half and instead of n now we have 2 so we can write uh, here this is equal to 1 over square root of pi uh times pi over uh, 2 times sine of uh, pi over 4 then uh, again uh, if we simplify we have square root of pi over 2 okay this is the second method so let's move to the our uh, third method okay uh, in third method i'm going to begin with uh, this step uh, so we can write here 1 over uh, square root of pi integral from 0 to infinity y to the uh, minus 1 half over 1 plus uh, y square here we have dy then i am going to multiply by dy square over dy and uh, we should multiply by 1 over 2 times y okay then uh, this 2 is a constant so 1 over 2 times uh, square root of pi integral from 0 to infinity here we can we have y to the minus one half here y uh, so we have minus uh, yeah we can write y square raised to the minus three over four power over one plus y square d y square well uh, then uh, we know uh, this is just uh, beta function so we have beta of 1 over 4 times 3 over 4 then uh, we can <coughs> uh, represent beta function by using uh, gamma function so gamma of 1 over 4 gamma of uh, 3 over 4 uh, then uh, 1 over 2 times square root of pi gamma of 1 over 4 uh, gamma of 1 minus 1 over 4 then uh, we know uh, we can use the Euler's reflection formula in the previous videos uh, we uh, solved uh, many times so we have here 1 over 2 times square root of pi times here uh, pi times cosecant of cosecant of pi over 4 well uh, now here we have 1 over 2 times square root of pi here pi uh, cosecant of pi over 4 we know uh, square root of 2 so if we simplify we have square root of pi over 2 well uh, we are done if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching